For your 107 written exam, or anytime you want to file a NOTAM, a waiver, or an airspace authorization, you're going to need to know how to give the FAA your exact location using longitude and latitude. Now, I can't speak for all of you, but most of us don't use longitude and latitude very often, so, so let me show you a few ways to find that out. For the Part 107 written exam, you're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way, using a sectional chart. We show you how to do this in detail at OnlineGroundSchool.com. But in the real world, there's much easier ways to get this information. Skyvector is a great resource to have in your toolbox. If we right-click anywhere on the sectional chart here, the drop-down list will automatically give us the coordinates of where we clicked, right next to where it says GPS. Now we're almost there. This will require a quick calculation to put into any FAA application form, but it's an easy process. All coordinates need to be in the form of degrees, minutes, and seconds, and the conversion is super easy. Just multiply the fraction by 60. So 34 degrees 0.5 would actually come out to 34 degrees and 30 minutes. But what if you have 34 degrees and 30 minutes 0.5? This would come out to 34 degrees, 30 minutes, and 30 seconds. So let's say I'm applying for a waiver to fly here, to deviate from some regulation. Plug it into the online application like this. 34 degrees, 7 minutes, and 43 seconds. Another great resource for you to use would be Google Maps. It has a function where you can right click on any spot on the map like this and click what's here. Look down and the coordinates for where you clicked will be displayed below. The coordinates here are displayed like this. Again, we can convert the fraction by 60 to get minutes and then convert the fraction after that to get the seconds. So now it's the day of the flight and we need to make sure that we are exactly where we told the FAA we would be. If you have a smartphone, you can use Google Maps mobile capabilities to do the same thing as the web version or the built-in Maps application on your phone. Tap and hold anywhere on the screen to mark a location, then scroll down to find the coordinates. Multiply that number after the decimal point to minutes, and that will give you a rough estimate of where you are. Now this only applies to Apple users, but if you pull up the built-in Compass app on your iPhone, Wherever you are, you can get the exact coordinates of right where you're standing in perfect degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now, if you don't immediately see this on your iPhone, no worries. Here's how you set it up. Go to Settings, Privacy, Location Services, and then find the Compass app. Select While Using the app, and you should be good to go. So there's three quick and easy ways to find out exactly where you are using longitude and latitude. To find out what questions are going to be on the test about this and to become an expert at positional planning, go to onlinegroundschool.com. As always guys, like this video and subscribe for more awesome content. Good flying.